Hi guys, it's James here once again, and I'm here to just give you a little, a little peek at what, how my uh, vending machine is going. So this is just the item selection mechanism. As you can see, it is rather large. Here's the keypad. Uh, you know, very tiny, and there's the wiring. So if I just take you through step by step, I'm thinking of I'm that I might have found a more compact way of doing this bit instead of using pistons, uh, but pistons can be a bit glitchy sometimes. Um, anyway, this these inputs go into this, which is just a big encoder. And this encodes into these. And these go go up into a very compact instant wire um, sort of line thing here because because this is such a massive project, instant wire is a must. Anyway, this instant wire will then eventually be connected all the way over to this end here and this will act as the the last digit of the code in the sequence it is also currently encoding uh, these wires here which are the first digits in the numbers and will eventually also be encoding these which are the, the midway digits of the numbers. So you might also be wondering what this bit over here is. Well this is the dash because if you go into your items you'll find some items which are similar. For example all the wills. They're all the same apart from they're all the same core value but they all have different um, different subset values. Anyway, that's that's what this dash is for. You just go, say you want, I know, white will. You type in the data value for will, and then you go dash zero, enter. And then you'll get white will out of it. And it'll just be like a simple AND gate sort of situation there. This also is encoded into this system here. And this is a counter, which is... It, it's um, set up to count to uh, I think one, two, three, four, five. That's right. And after five, it comes back into here and resets the whole thing. Um, and it basically hits the reset button. And this is just so people can't abuse it and type in every single number on the uh, keypad and get you know 10 different items or something so that's uh, fairly useful and I've also got the systems wired up for turning the dashes on and the dashes off etc currently the um, dashes are on but you can see all these bits here uh, these pistons are pulled up and all these pistons over there I pulled down. I'm not sure if it's quite finished yet, but potentially when you press the enter button, the RS Norlat should flip. And oh yeah, oh no, 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 it, it hasn't worked. See, that's the problem that I'm having currently. I'm just trying to get all of this working fine. I think we might have to hit the enter button twice normally uh, if I can't get it working then I'll just leave it like that um, no it seems to be um, seems to be a bit dead what happens if I press the dash button again oh it seems that if I press the dash button that works so maybe I'll just uh, <coughs> hook up a an AND gate and the enter button 
into a um, into the dash circuit. Maybe that's the way of doing it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this little video, and I hope to see you guys soon. All right? See ya. Bye.